What's on guys, Zach RC here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the next episode of my F1 2021 driver career. We have episode number 4 today for the, Az for the Azerbaijan here in Formula 2. We've got two more races coming, coming your way today, so we're, we're going to skip the pleasantries and we're going to get right on with the feature race and hopefully we can build on those great results we got last time out in Monaco. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the race. Baku never fails to disappoint fans of Formula 2, so hold on tight, the cars are set on the grid, and any moment we'll be starting today's race. Welcome to Azerbaijan. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast, Davide Valsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic. It's so distract. Have a check. The architecture, the narrow street. Easy to see why it's one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar. But, Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Yuki Tsunoda lines up on pole position, and it's Mick Schumacher in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Tictum, Schwartzman, Callum Eilat, and Dragovic, Aitkin, Sato, PK, Marcus Armstrong, Daruvula, Markalov, Cohen, and Matsushita, Joe, Giotto, Alesi, and Louis Delatraz, Samaya, Galeo, Nisani and Nikita Mazepin starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Alright then guys, here we are now on the grid for the start of the feature race here in Azerbaijan. Qualifying was pretty poor for me. I only managed to get 13th on the grid. I made a few mistakes here and there. But hopefully we'll be able to make up some places in the race. So here we go, go to five. Red lights now for the feature race here in Azerbaijan. Lights out and we go underway. It's not the best of starts from us. We've dropped one place off the lines of Masushito. We're gonna try and go for the inside going into turn one. We dive all the way down low. We've got someone to come up our, in our inside. I think that's Daruvala. That's a pretty poor move, you ask me. I don't know why he went for it. So we've got, we got a warning for Kalismi Giotto. Must have made contact then coming out of turn one. Through turn two we go now. Running behind our teammate Marcus Armstrong. He's currently battling Marino Sato going down the straight. We're going to try and pull to the inside, try and get closer to them so we can potentially perform a dive bomb going into turn number three. We've got Giotto charging behind us. We're going to go for a dive bomb from a long way back going into the corner. We've sort of, we've definitely put Armstrong on the wall there. I don't actually know where he's at. We're still free to rest here somehow going into turn four. And I've definitely caused some more damage on their cards, but I've done damage to myself as well. So poor start, to be honest. We've lot, we gain places, but poor start. P8 right now. Of course, that could be crucial. We, we want to try and make up some more places, but if you were to finish here, that will put us on pole for the sprint race. And we're yet to get a victory in Formula 2 this season, so we'll be hoping to do that as soon as we can. Chasing Dr Dragovic going down towards the, the castle section, which I personally hate because you've got to get it just right. Luckily, we do that time go over the curb a bit, but we're, we're all okay. Still following the MP Motorsport machine, and there's a campus of Jack Aiken in front of him. So we'll be trying to take those two places as quick as we can. Down the straight, moving into the... Slight left hand turn there and throw another left hander going towards one of the corner one other one of the corners I personally hate on this track because I always find myself going the wall. We've made contact with the back of the back of Aiken's car. We found our way past Dragovic and we found out finding our way past Aiken now. We're gonna try and go up the inside. Of course, the pit the team wants us to re pit to repair the front wing, but we're not going to. We're gonna try and stay out on this as long as we can. Because with these short races, there's really no much not much point in pitting. Aiken's still right on our tail going down to in towards the last couple of corners now. Through the chicane we come. We're sort of pulling away, but he's going to be coming right back at us. He's going to have a good slipstream going down what is an incredibly long straight. One of the longest you see on the calendar. So down the straight we come. Dragovic trying to pass Aiken going into turn one. Wait, I'm just checking the championship standings. We're still we're currently down in fourth place, I believe. Going into turn one, we're just about holding on to the position. Going through the car section now. We've done, we've done even more damage to the car. And that's, not, and that's going to be crucial here because that's going to be that's going to mean we really can't steer. Dragovic's going to attack and go very aggressive and try and block him off. 
And that, that would normally be very dangerous driving, but we're gonna hold on to the position just about with the front wing's doing too much damage. No! Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We've just crashed. We're out of the Grand Prix. The race is over for us. I suppose I can I completely underestimated how 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 much I'd need to break in order to make that corner without hitting the wall, and I've way overshot it there. I'm just looking around at the, at the damage here. One of the wheels has been wiped off completely, and I think one of the, ga the game's physics calls for that little line there to come the connection between my tire and the car. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. But yeah, so that is it. That's that's our first ever retirement on the F1 2021 driver career series. Hopefully, we won't see too many more of them. But that'll put us out of the race for the first time. Very, very unfortunate there. There comes up retirement from the race through the garage. I've, I've never actually seen this cutscene before. I, I don't retire from races often. But, yeah, that, that's just very painful. And, we're gonna, and that means we'll be starting last in the sprint race. So another fantastic victory for Carlin today. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? I think they kept a cool head. That's why they won today. Smooth, steady, everything bad that happened to them, they handled it calmly and professionally. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep out of trouble the whole way around. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. So then. It's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Yuki Tsunoda, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I think it has to be a Luca Ghiotto. You know, good on tires, some nice passes. I can't really think of anyone who could my ass more today. And now a look at the team standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Another team that excelled today was Dams, who make further progress up the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. There we have it. I'm still quite re really not sure how to react. We've 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 we've, we've, been, we've crashed out of a out, out of a race. That I'm st I'm still in shock that's actually happened. Snowda wins the race. Schumacher second, Tickton third, and that's not going to bode very well for our our hopes in the championship. But hopefully, well, we're starting last in the sprint race. But so hopefully we can try and gain some more places off of that. And try and get back up into the points playing places. It's going to be a hard ask. But I reckon we can do it. So let's go over to the race. We're back. For the second race we've reversed the top eight from yesterday. And everyone here is getting ready for what's shaping up to be a thrilling conclusion to the weekend. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. Alright, so here we are back on the grid then for the sprint race. We're starting from last, as I said, having dramatically crashed out the sprint race. So we're going to try and get some points out of today in order to stop that gap from increasing because we're, 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 we're so far behind the standings now. So here we go then for five red lights for the sprint race here in Azerbaijan. That was an awfully long wait for the lights, but nonetheless we're underway and it's a poor start. We don't lose any places because of course we're starting last. We're going to try and go for a dive going into turn one, just to try and make out some early spots. Up the inside we go, no contact with anyone there. That's a very clean start. I think we might have touched the back of the front of Galeo's car, but we've held on to it. 
And they've got the inside again, going for a double dive bombs in the first two corners, and that puts us all the way up to P11. So as you can see, we're getting the elbows out today. The, 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 we're having taken no prisoners in this race. We need to gain as many places back as we can. We're up into P11 now, as I said. We're going to try and go for another dive on PK, maybe even Sato. Not the best of ideas. We got past PK. We stayed behind Marino for the time being. We're going to try and go for it again into the right-hander through turn four, and that's P9 secure. And who else is next up on our target? But uh, the next on our radar is none other than Yuki Tsunoda, the championship leader, who we finished second to in Monaco. And we'll be trying to get him back for that. Of course, he won the feature race. That's why he's down in eighth. Because if you don't know, if you're new to, F to the top eight, get reversed. We're going to st we'll still continue to chase at the back of his car and machine. Best not to go for a move going into the castle section. That'd be very, very stupid if we tried that, having already crashed out the race around this area. I have to be a lot more cautious today because if I'm still going to be getting damaged like that, which I hope I'm, I won't be, then we're going to have to be a lot more cautious and tiptoe through these corners a lot more if we do take damage. Sonoda's pulled away here. He's got about a second on us now. We're trying to close back in. We've run over the curb and we've almost hit the wall, but we've just about kept out of there. Moving on now to the start of lap two. We're still chasing Sonoda. We're about half a second behind now, going back towards that castle section. We've got serious work to do. Of course, catching up isn't going to be too much of a bother. We're going to try and go right down the inside. We've hit the back of his Carlin machine. And he put him in the wall. <laughs> that was very aggressive. But we've taken P8 nonetheless. And I believe that puts us back up into the points. I can't quite remember how the points work in the sprint race for Formula 2. Nonetheless, we're going to try and go for P7 on Tictum. On start lap 3, we spun him out though. And we've put him in the wall. He's okay. I think he's, he might be able to keep going. He's fallen the pack now you can probably have to wait for everyone else to go by but like I say I'm being I'm trying to be a lot more aggressive during this race than I have been for any other race moving on now to towards the end of lap four we're chasing down Calamilot for that sixth spot in the virtuosi machine we go for a large dive from all the way back and we put him in the wall as well so that's gonna be damage done to his car you can see it, a bit of it back there so like I say just keep on getting the elbows out and we should be able to start making these places I'm, I'm driving I'm driving like an amateur here because I need to get these spots back in order to gain as many points back as I can. Moving on now to the last lap of the race. Not really, not much really happened other than me just making up places. We're chasing down Mick Schumacher in a desperate attempt to find our way past. Here we come now through out of the castle section and through the chicane. Still chasing the premium machine in front of us. P5 probably the best we can hope for here unless we get him quickly and we have a go at Drogovic in the last couple of straights. But here we come now through the two left-handers towards this one corner that I hate so much. Here we come. We've hit the back of Mick's car. We've put him in the wall slightly, but he's still in there. It still goes side by side with the German as we head through the last actual sort of corner on the circuit. And back down on the straight, he's going to try and have another go at us. I had to skip forward slightly because we lost a bit of footage. But here he comes now, chasing down the straight. We've hit the wall there, so he's going to have a lot more momentum than we will. And that's try and keep, us, keep him behind us as much as we can. And that's try and keep him behind us, having to block. On that left hand side, but he's got room. He's trying to wiggle his way in. I have to try and move over to give him space, but I've completely underestimated. No! Oh, we, we finished the race, but I've, I've completely underestimated where the uh, the entrance to the pit is. That, and, that, and that's a rookie mistake, and we've essentially just taken Schumacher out of the race. I'm not even sure if he crossed the line. And somehow we've got driver of the day for that. Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, what a race that was. Here's our winner pulling their high tech GP into Park Ferme then. What a fantastic race. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think this race was won thanks to the current management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. And it's time now for the podium celebrations and how well deserved is this one? What a fantastic victory for High Tech GP. Let's take a look at the driver's standings. It was not the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. A 
And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in the wheel-to-wheel -wheel situation. They showed maturity and patience. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. There will be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you'll join us at the next race when Formula 2 returns. Well, we managed to come across the, end, the line in the end in P5, but out of, out of this whole thing, we've still fallen to fourth place in the Drivers' Championship. So we're going to have to serious work to do to try and get that back. But that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I did. It's been a bit of a crazy one, I can't even lie. But if you did enjoy it, make sure to like, share and subscribe and share it around with all your friends. And until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Goodbye.